Hi all, and welcome back to my final part of Let's Play Mario Kart Arcade Grand Prix Deluxe, where in this part we are going to be doing the final cup, also known as the Bowser Cup. I don't know really, but I'm going to go with Toad because I think turning might benefit in this cup. I know Toad is actually uh, quite a fun and interesting character to use, so here we go. So. Let's go for Grand Prix on normal difficulty. I don't know if I've to used Toad before, I can't remember. But yeah, it is the Bowser Cup and our first track, Bowser's Factory. So uh, let's go and see what we get in this one. So it doesn't really give you a loadout or item. You know, obviously it does the same randomizer thing as it does in the worldwide version. But you know, you find that out after you've done the first race or during the first race actually. So here we go, yeah, so <laughs> this is an awesome looking Bowser's Castle, you know, with like the lava sections, the courtyard sections and the factory sections. So yeah, it's actually known as Bowser's Factory, one of the tracks I believe, so yeah, so here we go, so awesome stuff. So yeah, this is the uh, track I often play when I choose to go to the uh, arcades, but you know, obviously the fun I had on the last cup, I think that'll be my new one. So. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. Uh, you know? It's just amazing what this version can handle. I mean, obviously this arcade hardware is a lot more powerful than, say, a Nintendo Switch. But, you know, still, it's... Uh, you know, they've done a the pretty good job. You know, this was made by Nintendo and Namco, uh, both working together in collaboration, so... I believe, anyway, unless it's like Namco made this and Nintendo published it, but, you know, and licensed it. But I think this seems like more something that would be done in collaboration, for certain. So, yeah, uh, this hammer does give you a bit of a speed up, by the way, so. But it's nice to play this on 100cc, because I'm not going to lie, 50cc, like some of the arcades are set on, is a little too slow. I mean, why could they not offer CC options? Even if it were like an hidden easter egg, you had to hold a certain button when selecting a cup or something. In the European version, I mean, that just makes no sense. Because it's, it's just so fun, and wow, I'm just getting bombarded by the bombs. So, uh, yeah, oh wow, that's the good thing of having a shield. It blocks attacks. Yeah, this is really fun to play at home, this game. It really is. I mean, you're just taking in the sights. It's probably why I'm not doing too good. Oh, what the hell happened there? That was not fair. Come on. Please give me first. Come on. <gasps> Second. Oh. But that was close. Oh, no. <laughs> well... That was a close one, but unfortunately, maybe if I hit him straight from behind, it would give me some advantage, I thought. Maybe just the speed up from that item alone would have helped, but it did not, so. <laughs> but, you know, we're doing this for fun. We're not doing this for serious stuff, so. Unlike some of the other Let's Plays, which are still, I mean, they're still fun, you know what I mean? If it's no fun, there's literally no point. Carefully handwritten. Now that's an interesting one. So yeah, I like that one. Uh, and it's red as well. So cool stuff. So let's continue and go on to round two. And that one is Bowser's Castle. The first one's Bowser's Factory. Cool. So uh, here we go with Bowser's Castle. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sniffly. I don't know why. It's probably just sinuses and stuff like that. But yeah, speaking of this, this mic is not the best. I've been using this mic since uh, 2017, actually. And it is just the voice recorder on my Galaxy S6. That's all it is. You know, a six-year-old phone with its built-in voice recorder app. That's all I'm using. But I do plan to get a new mic soon, so I don't know what it's going to be. A Blue Yeti would be cool, although those things are huge, so that is a big, like, cutoff for me, because I put it in front of my laptop, or I like to mount it on, say, a tripod, but in front of me, when I play, you know, obviously games for my channel, uh, on my main uh, entertainment setup, but you know, it happens, you know what I mean, it's just, it's a big thing, 
if I put it right in front of me and it blocks my view. So I've got to try to find some microphone. That's going to be good. Like I'm looking at options from Razor and Road. So yeah, so hopefully soon <coughs> I'll be able to get myself a better microphone set up for recording. So uh, finally I'll have better audio recording in my Let's Play. So that's uh, really cool and exciting stuff. And it might mean I can cut back on editing a bit because obviously I can dub them both together, so... But then again, I like to prove edit, so... Yeah. This soundtrack's just so good once again. You know, it adds so much to the adrenaline of a game. It really does. Ooh, that's a close one, but that is actually perfect cornering. I'd actually like to see some, like, some of the top players of this game actually play this because I mean that would be really good so yeah I've really enjoyed doing this let's play uh, I'm not gonna lie because you know it's all the good arcade stuff you know obviously this is this is just for fun stuff really and I haven't really done much of this before in fact in the future I might hope to actually be able to uh, do more stuff like that so <laughs> that would be really cool Oh, come on. No, right, I took that corner far too wide. It's going to be second place. So, uh, yeah, this is the Expert Cup. You know, obviously, there's two easy, two normal, and one harder cup at the end. I don't believe there's a hidden cup. If I ever do find out there is, I will be going back uh, in a rest respective manner and adding another part to this Let's Play. You know, like some arcade games do hide, you know, the better tracks. And I missed the slot machine. Is there any bonus? No, there is not. So, uh, at least I just topped some coins up there, so... You always get a spin on it anyway, I'm just going to say that. Oh, and I got a special item. You know, Magna, okay. I exobbed coins from around you, so yeah. Uh, no, I'm not having a messenger. That's, that's, the, that's the crappiest slogan ever. Like, I'm not going to lie, so, yeah, I'm going to try that magnet and see what that actually does. Because uh, that card thing I've used too many times, the interrupting frame, so yeah, I'm going to go for that. So there we go, let's just customise that. Unfortunately, things do not show up, or they're a bit broken. That's because the original game's resolution is 1360 by 768 which does, unfortunately, uh, not run too well with my displays, unfortunately. You know, they're not compatible with it, so I'm having to run the game up to 1920 by 1080 which does look better. And you know, it is the standard today and what this Let's Play is recorded at. But, it does unfortunately break some graphical elements, like for example the, uh, you know, let's say the item box and stuff like that, so, uh, and some of the background graphics and menus, but, you know, it is really no big deal. It is really no big deal at all, I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's just something you can deal with, and to be honest, I would take the odd graphical glitch, or emulator glitch, to have this, uh, really nice 1080p 60fps visuals, which really does give this game justice. I mean, this game still looks really good in the arcade, but it's going to look a lot better at home. Especially on a calibrated TV, with or monitor, with, you know, that higher resolution, so... And it makes it fun to take in more of these sites, so, uh, yeah. Mario Kart Double Dash. Lots of people say that game's overrated, but I'm not going to lie. Oh, this actually just seems to speed you up a little, that's interesting. Can you hit the characters from the side? No, that just slows you down, so... But I actually do love that game, it's so fun, Mario Kart Double Dash. I can remember this, uh, on the, uh... Mario Kart Double Dash was always on the kiosks, you know, the GameCube kiosks, that you'd find in, like, a, uh, Like a soft play area, like Brewster's, or... in a shopping mall, or... 
you know, let's say in a video game store, a toy store, a hospital, you know. And it's really, really, really cool stuff. You know, for the longest time, in my local A and E, they actually had this game. <laughs> you know, believe it or not, Mario Kart Double Dash on a kiosk, and then they replaced it with like a crappy TV set running Crash Bandicoot Rafa Cortex. So, <laughs> which is like the weirdest, randomest thing ever. Still fun, but you know, yeah, and I'm, and it's second again. You know, it gives you that false hope you got third, but you know. We're just not getting it in this part. We're really not getting first place, so... But you know, you can still progress, so that's all what matters. You just can't 100%, so... Uh, yeah, it'd be fun to live in Japan, you know, just to be able to go and play, you know, this game in an arcade and level things up. And, uh, although I would be constantly paranoid that I would lose that card that stores all my progress. You know, it's bad enough thinking I'm going to lose my uh, fun card with all my credits and tickets on. Uh, an arcade to go to now, so imagine how many cards you'd have to carry around for all these games. <laughs> a giant banana, nice. I am not having that message. You can try all you want, but I am not having that message. And yes, I want to continue, so uh, yep, yeah, so here you go, the final round, Bowser's Castle once again. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna change. I'll have to keep the magnet, and the attack type's only gonna be a shell because I can't unlock much. And obviously it's a giant banana, so here we go. Nice one. Imagine how much it would actually cost to level all these things up. I mean, it's got to cost like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of yen to do it. But, you know, it's probably worth it in the long run. Until like, you know, you lose your card or <laughs> the card breaks or, you know, the machine gets factory reset or something. So, or the software update voids it. But you know, we are not in Japan, we are just emulating this at home, on a computer in the UK, so <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that was really funny the way I put that. Okay, so I think for a fast start you just hit, you know, your right trigger or your gas pedal as the go comes up. You know, this is a bit different to Mario Kart 8. Now I've realised just now, with this game, you've got to be careful when you hit the... Uh, whenever you're hitting the brake pedal because if you're hitting it and you're not going to do a drift what's going to happen is you're just going to start skidding and losing control like you're trying to do a handbrake turn or something which or you've locked up the wheels which you know is definitely not fun you know when you're trying to get good laps and there we go uh, yeah, these, these like paragliding sections, you know, similar to what you find in Mario Kart 8, are fun as well, you know. If you're playing the arcade version with forced feedback on the wheel, the steering wheel like lets loose, so it's like, feels like it's disconnected to the ground. It's really immersive, like, it's really something that you should, like, have a go. And it's kind of funny when you start this game up on the emulator, because it gives up loads of errors, because obviously, lots of the things that connects to the game normally, like, obviously the haptic controls, you know, the LED lighting, the card reader are not there when you're emulating it compared to on an arcade machine, so it throws up lots of errors, so it takes about five minutes for the game to start up, but, you know, once you pass that, this is fun to play, so definitely, definitely, definitely download this emulator and give this a go, because it is a blast. Like, I'll say no more about it. Yeah, just a shame my voice has not been too good in this part, you know, obviously because it's, uh, yeah, because obviously awkward stuff with, you know, seeing the larges, so, you know, stuff you've got to deal with in the real world, or <laughs> that you don't have in the video game world. I'd rather have villains in the real world than first world problems in the, fir in the you know what I mean? No, in the video game world, sorry. The villains in the video game world. And the first world problems that you face in real life sometimes. Like, I swear to God. Anyway, here we go. Finally, we got a first place. It's about time. So, uh, yeah, everyone. Awesome stuff. So, of course, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And this has been an awesome Let's Play. Yeah, so that was the final cut completed. So, to 
for everybody who watched this let's play and enjoy the adventure. I've still got silver, which is good. Uh, yeah, thank you to you all. So, yeah, of course, thank you everyone for watching. Fun part, once again, fun let's play, even though it's only been five parts. And I might actually do more racing games and even some more Mario Kart games. I plan to do Mario Kart 64 when I can, when I'm finally able to play it on the Switch. So that'd be something fun to look forward to, everyone. So, of course, thank you once again. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will, of course, see you in my next Let's Play. So thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Thank you.